Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at where are the places that you can grade within a course. So uh, in a given course you're going to have different activities that students are doing and the three primary ones we're going to talk about is the assignment, the discussion, and the uh, quiz. So if you create an assignment, once you create it and it's on your main page, if you want to grade it you just find it on the page. So we'll go down to amazing, oh, amazing assignment. There it is. And once you go in here, very clearly it gives you a sense of what's going on and you have this, the big blue button of grade. So you can view all the submissions if you just want to see what that looks like or you can jump into the grader right away. Uh, you also have down here kind of a sense of how many have submitted and uh, how many need grading. So that's if you're doing an assignment, something students are uploading or, or putting in there that you're going to give feedback. Discussions is a little bit different. So in here, you'll come into the discussion and you know hopefully there'll be a good robust discussion going on down here. And then you have this little button right here that says grade users. When you click on that, it's actually gonna bring up the different students. And this is actually where you will put their numerical grade in. So this is one thing you're gonna notice here is that unfortunately, um, it just looks for a grade and not actual feedback. So. What I would recommend is, you know, this can be useful, but there might be actually somewhere else more useful to go to actually give students uh, both their, their numerical grade and their actual, um, actual textual feedback for them. So I'm gonna pop open a new tab. And what you might do is you might kind of go through here and have the student pulled up here, but then you might also go to it, have two tabs open and so in the second tab, you'd want to go into the grade reporter, and then you would want to go to uh, single view. And under single view, you're going to select the grade item, and in this case, we're looking for a, a it was the amazing discussion. So now I just have to double check where that is here. And my screen jumps around a little, so it can sometimes be hard for me to catch it, but here we are, amazing discussion. So now that I'm here and I have the discussion, I have the students, I can put in a numerical grade here and then I can write in my feedback here. So um, it might be jumping back a little bit back and forth as you kind of look at one student and then you look at the other and I, as you put in the, the grades here, but that will probably be your most effective way of giving textual feedback along with a numerical grade. And then finally, we have the quiz. So if you create a quiz and you have questions that are uh, short, essay, short answer or short essay questions, then when you go into the quiz, so here again, we created the quiz. Um, it is, I appropriately named it Quizzard because why not? And if we click, so we're in the course and if we go into that actual assignment, we can come down here and it will tell you um, in this case I submitted as myself, but then also if I want to see what people have submitted, I can see right here where it says attempts to and click on it. And it's going to show me the two students that have, uh, or in this case one student submitted and then me as, as a fake student submitted. So if I want to review the attempt, I select review attempt. And what it's going to do is show me uh, the question. So this is the essay question. What is your favorite cheese? Obviously an important question. And then what their response was. So if I want to provide feedback in a grade, I click on make comment or override mark. And that will bring up this little screen right here, which I'll just make sure you can see, which will have uh, my ability to provide feedback on the essay and to give it a certain amount of points depending on how many points I assign that question. Uh, what I also like is it has some brief information about the response time here. So I might say fantastic and then give them a 10 out of 10 and hit save. And this will automatically close and now you can see that it the comment shows up and that they have been awarded points. So those are the ways of providing grades and feedback to students within Moodle around these particular um, assignments. Let me know if you have questions. I hope this is helpful.